Hi everyone, it's Shelby from the Boys and Girls Club of Portal Lakes, and today we're going to be doing a science experiment today. Our experiment today is going to be dancing right, and these are the supplies that you're going to need. You'll need a clear container. I have two here in different sizes just to show you what the experiment looks like in two different sizes. But whatever size you have at home is fine, and it can be glass or plastic as long as you can see into it. You'll also need instant rice. We'll be needing a quarter cup per container of instant rice. And it's really important that this is the kind we're using because it is less dense than other types of rice and it will really make the experiment work. We're also going to need white vinegar. We only need about a tablespoon to two tablespoons per container. Um, so if you just have a small bottle of vinegar at home, don't worry, we won't be using quite as much as this. We will need baking soda. We'll need one tablespoon per container um, and as well, some food coloring is optional as well. So I've chosen red and blue for my two different containers. Um, and as far as measurements, I've already said we will need a quarter cup, you'll need a tablespoon, and you'll also need something to be able to stir in your container so that we're getting everything mixed up and we're able to get the full effect. Okay, so the first step of our experiment is to fill your clear container three quarters of the way full with water. Um, so I did that before I brought everything over to the table, but you're able to see here about three quarters of the way full of our small jar, and about three quarters of the way full in our large jar as well. The next step is to put one tablespoon of baking soda into the container. We need to make sure that we thoroughly mix the baking soda into our water, um, which means that it dissolves and we can no longer see the baking soda on its own. We've created kind of a clear, sorry, a cloudy liquid. Okay, so once you've stirred all of your baking soda in, you can see in the containers here that we can't see any baking soda sitting on the bottom of our containers. If you can, it just means that you can need to keep stirring it up a little bit. It's just sitting down at the bottom there. And our water has become a little bit cloudy from mixing everything in. The next step is to add your food coloring. I suggest only using one color per container, um, just because the color is not the purpose of our science experiment. It just kind of adds to it a little bit. You can do as many drops as you'd like to make it light or dark. And again, you're going to want to stir that in completely so that your water becomes totally colorful. Okay, now that we have our water um, all colored with your color of choice, we're going to want to measure out a quarter cup of our instant rice for each container. So when you're measuring it out, you want to measure the rice to be totally level at the top of your container. Um, it's important when we're doing measurements to follow along. We don't want to have it big heaping over top because then it means we're using too much. If we haven't filled up the container, that means we don't have quite enough for our experiment. So we're going to pour a quarter cup into each container. Again, checking our measurements so we filled our cup. Not too much, not too little. Okay, now that we have all um, our ingredients into our containers here, the last step is our vinegar. So because my container is so big, um, it would be tough to pour it into just this little guy. So what I'm going to do is use a larger measuring cup to pour a little bit of vinegar in. The best way to do this would probably not be to have this up in the air because um, if something slips, I'm going to end up with a pretty big mess. So what I'm going to do is put it down on my table here, pour a little bit of vinegar in. Remember, we only need one to two tablespoons per container. The bigger your container is, you'll need a little bit more. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is pouring one tablespoon of vinegar into my small container. I'm going to pour the remainder from my measuring cup into my large container, and we will be able to see which one has the better reaction. So again, I'm going to pour one tablespoon into this one. I'm going to pour that tablespoon right into the top of my experiment. And I'm going to pour my vinegar into here. So as you're doing your experiment, if you're not seeing a lot of reaction, if you're just seeing some fizz on the top of yours, what you're going to want to do is add more vinegar. So I'm going to put some more into my measuring cup. 
think this time I'm going to add two tablespoons to my small container to see if I can get more of a reaction from it. So there's one and two. You can see the rice starting to move around, and I'm going to pour the remainder. You can see it fizz up to the top, and you can see the rice is starting to move around and dance within the jar, all from the reaction of our baking soda and our vinegar. So I had a lot of fun doing the science experiment. I hope that you guys have fun too, and I would love to see some posts of your pictures or your videos of you guys having fun doing science with Shelby, and maybe we'll be back in future weeks to do some more science together. Have fun, everybody.